Welcome to this kind of live reaction to supercharging search with generative AI. A couple of things to preface this. Number one, this is apparently not barred. And I have a feeling, a strong feeling, that they're just going to do away with barred. They're not going to use barred. Second thing is a lot of people make these kind of videos with two things in mind. Number one is that they will get views from this video. And number two, that they have to tell you that everything is going to change, etc., etc. Now, I'm going to go through this video. We're going to go through this article, this blog post that they uh, basically posted to the Google, um, to Google blog, whatever. Um, but I'm just going to preface this by saying I don't think that that much is going to change in terms of how to do SEO. I think. Um, I think probably the main thing that's going to change is there's going to be more of a focus on video instead of on text. But let's just watch this video and we'll see what we think. So I think this is pretty important already. AI has been in search for more than a decade, probably a decade. I don't actually know, but they say a decade. It's been a long time already. So this does look really, really nice, okay? A couple of things. There are still, like, there's still plenty of opportunity for your articles to be used. Um, the thing that I can see has already changed is that, like, you, you, there are going to be less clicks, okay? Most likely there will be less clicks. And also... When you think about people moving away from Google in general, there will just be less clicks generally, okay? Actually, that is an important thing to talk about. If there are less clicks generally, how can we grow in this kind of... So what I'm saying is there's going to be less clicks to organic results, okay? The typical organic results that we are used to, one, two, three, this is ads. This is going to change, okay? This is going to change pretty significantly, okay? But basically what you need to do is you need to post to more platforms, okay? Because this generative AI is going to take from TikTok, it's going to take from YouTube, it's going to take from, you know, everything. So the more that you post to, the more likely that you, instead of your competitor, will be picked up by some kind of AI, some kind of algorithm, whatever it might be. This kind of reminds me of Google Discover, okay? So if you don't know what Google Discover is, it's when you open your phone and you scroll to the left on, um, I think on Google phones, then you'll see Discover, okay? And it kind of reminds me of this, to be honest with you. One of the best ways to get in Discover is to post in different places. And that is definitely going to continue. So, in terms of e-commerce, I don't think much is going to be changing. In fact, I think it's just going to get better for e-commerce. So, specifically e-commerce, SEO... I think just making sure you have a lot of products, everything is organized properly with um, all of the SEO kind of associated with products like alt tags and descriptive titles and all that kind of stuff. That's going to be important as well. If you're in e-commerce, make sure that everything like your photos, etc., are fully uh, sch schemered, schemered, whatever the verb is, etc., etc. But you should have been doing that anyway, so you don't really need this video to tell you that. Yeah, so the ask a follow-up thing is one of the main kind of pushing points of AI search. This is what perplexity is good at. And this is generally what people are excited about is being able to ask contextual questions within the context of the question you have already asked. Yes, yes. So this, this looks like it's a short, okay? So when I wrote TikTok before, I don't know if this is true, but YouTube shorts uh, of are going to be, I, I can just tell, okay? I can see in my head right now, 
that one of the things that Google is going to try and attempt to do is they're going to try and push people away from TikTok and towards YouTube, obviously. And they have the ability to only take from YouTube, for example. If they don't want to promote TikTok, they don't have to. Right now, if you go on Google and type something like uh, something that's happening right now, something trending, most likely TikTok will be on the front page. Will they include TikTok in their generative AI algorithm is a very interesting question. I think they kind of have to because otherwise it might be against some kind of... I'm not a lawyer, okay? I think I have to say that. But it might be against some kind of monopoly law or something if they don't include TikTok. But yeah, it'll be very interesting to see how that is going to work. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty standard stuff. I don't think I don't think a lot is going to change here. If your business is on uh, Google My Business, you've got as much opportunity to be in uh, this uh, result as long as you have everything normally optimized. So it's a lot of. I think there's going to be a lot of changes in the way that content is generated by Google, but I don't personally think that there's going to be huge changes in clicks for most people one of the things i can see potentially taking a hit is affiliate marketing but one interesting thing about affiliate marketing okay is that in order to get this information okay they're gonna have to take from blogs at some point because we people who i don't know they do reviews of bikes for example and they know a lot about bikes and they're considered to be an authority in bikes they their opinion is still going to be very very valid so if you search for something like best carbon fiber bikes it's pretty likely in my eyes that blogs and probably especially like especially youtube okay i can already see a shift towards more video content. YouTube, uh, Google is going to start taking from more sources and they're going to start regurgitating that information into their generative AI. So the more places you post yourself, the more likely you are to be included in that generation. So if you're just posting to your website and you don't have anything else, you're going to have problems. If you just have a Google My Business and you don't have a website, you don't have an Instagram, you don't have YouTube, you don't have anything, you're going to have problems. In my opinion, this is going to be about, I mean, it already is kind of about this, but it's going to be even more about where you're posting, how frequently you're posting, and how big your flag that says, look at me, give me your attention, is going to be. So if you're just planning on sticking to creating AI-generated content, like I've been showing you how to do, and that's your only plan, and you don't have any other plan for marketing, then I think probably you're going to see a decrease in clicks if you do not start posting in more places. That could be Pinterest. It doesn't matter, okay? Just post anywhere and everywhere. Medium, you need to increase your chances of being used in the generative AI. You should be doing this anyway, but if you're not, then you definitely need to be starting. Okay, I like that you can just add a thing. That's pretty interesting. You got this. Let's go. Is a hot dog a sandwich? And the answer is... Yes. No. Yes. No. We gonna talk like... Okay, this is all just basically advertising from now on. So it looks like already in the US, you can sign up for Search Labs, which is a way to kind of test this new generative AI. So if you're in the US, you definitely want to be subscribing to this because this is going to be the cutting edge of what is next for Google. In my opinion, this is a much better launch than Bard. Bard was a disaster. Um, they should not have tried to compete with ChatGPT and Bing. What they should have done is this. 
This is, seems like a much better move. I like the fact that it's still going to be including a lot of information from various sources all over the internet. It gives the source, you can click, you can read more. In my opinion, what this looks like, I'm going to break this down. It looks like the two most important things are going to be um, posting broadly around the internet. And then I think schema is going to be super, super important. Because the more schema, 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 whatever, that you have, the more likely it is that you're going to be put on one of these pages. Let's, these are obviously schema. This is price schema. This is review schema. This is, um, you know, title schema, good for hill climbing, good for commuting. That looks like schema, schema two. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. Feel free to sign up if you're in the US. It looks like it's available on the Chrome desktop and the Google app on Android and iOS. Only in the US, unfortunately. But if you're, if you're there, definitely sign up now, get on the waiting list and maybe start playing with it and let us all know what you think. Do I think this is going to completely change SEO? Probably not. It's going to be very, very similar. You're just going to have to be posting more stuff across the internet more and make sure all your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted using things like schema and other important things. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.